Hello there guys, for today's video I'm going to show you how to make a clipping mask effect on text in Photoshop. And also we will dive deeper into using text tool, using multiple image, and creating clipping masks. So let's get started. So our goal here is we're going to create a text and then we're going to apply a clipping mask on it. Alright, so the so before we start, I'm going to introduce our assets for this so I, will, I already prepared here this flag also this also this and this we're gonna make use of four images here so going back to our original document first thing is we're going to create a text layer so to do that go onto the toolbar and find this t symbol or t for the shortcut key and then to apply it all you have to do is to click it on the canvas and there you go now let's change the words now let's say philippines yes that's my country so after this i'm going to make it bigger so to do that click on the text layer press ctrl plus t and then for the transformation i'm just going to click and drag this out to maximize the size okay so something like this all right there you have it and then for the options, uh, okay, by the way, for the font, I use here of Baba's New, okay. And then for the for the spacing of each letter, so I'm going to adjust that. Double click on that lay on the thumbnail of the text layer. And then this one, I'm going to decrease it to around minus 75 for it to compress, something like this. And then let's click it somewhere else to remove that okay and by the way if you find this video helpful so far please consider subscribing to help youtube algorithm show my videos to other nerds like us so the next step we're gonna do here is we're going to bring those images here in this document so to do that from the first image i'm going to click this one this flag of the philippines so i'm going to press v for the move tool and then click and drag it on our original document all right so as you have noticed, it's too big, so I'm going to resize this one. So press on that layer, press Ctrl plus T for the transformation command, and then click on the points and drag it in to lessen the size. Okay. All right, now here we go. Now this is the interesting part. Now with this layer selected, I'm going to right-click on it and then click on Create Clipping Mask. So once I did that, the flag went on to the text see something like this i'm gonna rotate the image so select on that layer bring out the transformation command Control plus t and then rotate this a bit all right something like this and then drag the points out to make it bigger all right there you go i'm good with this so press enter for that now we're going to add another image here so let's select on this just what i've said press v for the move tool click and drag it on the original document and release wow this image is too big so to avoid the large size image so that this won't happen again to create a bigger size so i'm going to remove this layer first going back on that image so to make it small go here on the image on the menu bar and then select on image size and then for the fit too i'm going to click this one and then get this one 90 by 640 pixels okay i'm gonna click on that and press okay you can see that the image turned to a small one now this is better for us to click and drag it on our original document all right see so that's how it goes all right so let's keep on decreasing the size press ctrl plus t of this layer and decrease the size for the clipping mask on that layer right click on it create a clipping mask that's how you do it Okay. And I'm going to increase the size of the volcano image inside. All right, and then press enter. Okay, as if you have noticed that we just covered the flag, right? So to fix on this, I'm going to select on that layer. Yes, of this layer of this mountain or this volcano. And then go here, select on the add layer mask icon. Right, and then go to the toolbar. Press B for the brush tool. For the foreground color, set the set this one to black. For the opacity, 
and I'm going to make use here a soft brush. So I'm going to paint on these areas. Okay, so see what happens when I start painting on those parts. Okay, so press X so that the foreground will be white and let's erase this part here. All right, the next step here is we're going to add another image. So let's go to the other one. Yes, here, this church, right? Make the size smaller. So like on this, go to the menu bar, press image, go to image size for the fit to click this arrow and put 90, 960 by 640, okay? And then press, okay. Now it turns to small image. Now click and drag it to the original. With this layer selected, press Control plus T for the transformation command and decrease the size. And now I'm going to put it around here. Okay, so select it on that layer, right click on it, and then choose create flipping mask. Press Control plus T. All right, there you go. Okay, so look what happened here again. We just cover up those that vol volcano. So press enter first, remove that transformation command. Select it on that church layer, create a mask. Select on the layer mask icon. Then B for the brush tool, set this one to black. Okay, yeah, just click on this to make it black. All right, and then paint on this area. That seems better. Okay, and for the last image, yes, let's click on that. So this is an image of the whole place in the Philippines with a lot of hills. Now, before we move this one, go to the image, select on image size, then choose 960 by 640 and select, okay? To make it smaller, then click and drag it again on our original document. All right, and then right click on that new layer and then press create flipping mask, okay? And then press Ctrl plus T to decrease the size. All right, and then press Enter. Okay, now we just created this effect on our text. And one last thing, I want to add a stroke here. So to do that, I'm going to click on the text layer here, right click on it, and then choose Blending Options. Now this layer style dialog box will appear. I'm going to tick the stroke. All right, so once I click that, you can see that there are stroke on our text now, okay? So I'm good with this, but if you want to change the color, that's fine. So just click on the stroke, and then for the color, let's change it to something else, like dark blue, okay? And then press, okay. Also here, okay. And there you go. And that is how to make clipping mask effect on text in Photoshop.